So in this video, I'll be going over how to use Sketch and Tune in Cinema 4D to create this animated uh, this, or this cartoony look uh, using 3D objects. Uh, let's get started. To get started, I'm going to grab some simple shapes and start bringing them into the scene and maybe animating them. Um, I'm going to go for kind of a, a 90s retro look, so I'm going to pick some, some shapes like uh, maybe a pyramid. Um, I think a sphere is always good to have in here. Um, some other shapes I might use, maybe like a, a tube. Um, and I'll give this some more segments so it's a little smoother and maybe slice it. So yeah, we can just start playing around with this. Um, so to get the look that I want, um, let me go into my render settings and I'm going to start, um, you know, I'm, maybe I'm going to go for sort of a square Instagram kind of look. Um, I'm going to do all the frames. I want to make like a looping animation, uh, but I want this kind of really graphic look. If, if I want to just render this right now, you'd see it looks like kind of standard default shading. Um, what I'm going to do is add an effect called sketch and tune, and this is going to give it kind of like a cartoony look. Um, within here, there are a number of different settings that I can play with. Um, you just want to make sure that you're scroll to the top and you'll see different tabs here. So you can control things like where where lines appear. Let's, let's actually just take a, a look real quick and see what comes out. So you can see it's got like a, a sketchy look. It's got, it's got outlines here uh, along the different areas. Um, and it's got this kind of like stepped shading. Uh, so you can go into these settings and there's a lot of them that you can, you can play around with um, uh, and you can animate with. Uh, here, the shading, uh, the color here, up here refers to the background color. So if we wanted to change the background color, we could change that <clears throat> up here. Uh, what, uh, what you're seeing for the object shading is this thing. It's a quantize. It's kind of like stepping this. Uh, you can put, right now it says eight levels or uh, or had a number there, but you could do fewer levels. Uh, maybe you just want a tiny bit of shading or you could do more. There's also a gradient look uh, that will give it more of this gradient and you can put in more steps here as well if you needed to. So this gives you some control to kind of create um, uh, some some looks in here. I think I'm gonna, I think I like to quantize maybe something like this. Now, uh, I'm going to close this and you'll see that in the materials panel, uh, this sketch material came in. And from here we can, we can do some different things like play with the thickness of the stroke. So we could make it a really thick line if we wanted to, um, and play with that, that, you know, that's up to you how you want to deal with that. Uh, and there's other, other pieces in here. And again, you can really control a lot. But for the sake of making kind of a shorter video, I'm just going to um, focus on a few key things. Uh, what I want to do is color these objects. Um, and the way I can do that is just by bringing in a regular material. And, uh, you know, maybe I've, I have some colors in mind, some, some kind of like retro look. And we can just drag that onto there. Let's do another color, um, maybe like a yellow and we'll bring that onto here um, and just so you can see so we're able to kind of get this cartoon look and color um, and uh, yeah play around with that as well so um, maybe let's get a few more shapes in here and actually I'm gonna turn off the I think for the background color I think I I think white is is pretty good um, I'm gonna make another material color that's kind of that bluish teal color um, okay and then maybe I need a few more shapes and then I'll just start animating them into a loop and we'll see what we get from that um, maybe one thing I'll do next is kind of draw a little uh, like a line I'm gonna use this tool right here the spline pen and I'm gonna just kind of I'm picking this front view so I can get it kind of like flat uh, I'm just kind of creating a uh, a spline um, and what I'll do is I'll use a sweep nerve to kind of outline that so I'm gonna get a circle that's pretty thin 
um, and we'll use the sweep nerve, uh, which is here. Uh, and what we'll do is, uh, the order that you put these under is gonna be important. You wanna make these ch children of the sweep. Um, that first circle is like, is gonna outline the thickness of that line, the spline that we drew. So you can see, hopefully what that does, it gives you this kind of shape. Um, maybe we'll, we'll put something like that on there. And yeah, we can move this around. Uh, let's see. Eventually, I want this to maybe rotate, but I can see that the axis is a little bit off. Um, so what I can do is turn this axis mode on, enable axis, and just, oops. I think, uh, oh, I'm still on the spline pen, so I want to get off of that. Uh, so uh, enable the axis, so I can just move this axis around, and I want to just make sure it's, it's kind of centered on it. Yeah, that looks that looks good to me. So uh, then I'm going to turn that off. And then that's just good because now when I rotate it, it's going to rotate around that center axis. So I could kind of have that rotated look. Um, let's see, what else might we need? Hmm, maybe, we'll, maybe a polygon will be good. Uh, we can, we can set, we'll make it a triangle maybe. And maybe we'll just uh, move it back in space. I think everything right now is kind of like in the the center, but maybe we want to move things around a little bit. Okay, um, I think I'll just try to scale things up and maybe just make like a just have some differences in scale so it looks a little bit more visually interesting. Again, try to think about framing. Um, can also pull it back this way. Uh, let's see, this probably needs a color on it, or maybe we'll uh, make one that's black. What does that look like? Uh, oh, let's see, did I put that on the... Uh, I just noticed like it was not that color was not mapping properly. I think it's it's, it's a flat surface, so I just ch I just changed it from UVW to frontal, and that seemed to huh, I guess maybe that was just a little uh, bug, but that seems to be working fine. So yeah, let's maybe with this this is probably enough for us to start animating with, unless we want to put one more one more object in here. Maybe a little cube. Okay, so let's try to frame this shot out. Um, and from here, I want to make like a, a three-second loop. Um, I just want everything to like start and end in the same place eventually. Um, so maybe uh, let's start with the pyramid. Uh, I think we can probably do most of this with rotation. Maybe it kind of rotates a little bit. Like this, and uh, I'm gonna hit control and drag and just like kind of copy that over so that uh, as we play it, you can see it kind of moves, although I think it's a little bit off. Something 
Oh, I think uh, I only moved one of those. So it's zero, zero. Just want to make sure zero. And then I just copied that in. And make sure you turn, hit the keyframe buttons. So it saves it. Um, all right, so that's, that's kind of a perfect loop as it is. The sphere, uh, maybe, you know, rotating that won't really make a difference. So maybe we'll just kind of, uh, maybe it just moves in Z space a little bit. Maybe it comes out to here and then uh, it goes back to zero. So I'm trying to make it so that these loop at sort of like different speeds. They're not like looping at the same time. Uh, so they're a little bit offset, but they, they will kind of repeat at the very end. Uh, here's the tube. Maybe the tube just does a little bit of rotation around. Uh, yeah, I think this way, that way will, will be good. So zero. Um, you could even, you can make it go to 360. That would, that's a full rotation. So. Uh, what does that look like? And maybe you want to, maybe you want a little bit of rotation as well. Uh, I'm gonna just yeah. We'll start at ten. Maybe we'll go twenty, and then we'll go back to ten. So just trying to repeat these numbers. Make sure you hit that keyframe button. Okay, and here's the sweep. I think the sweep will do a, a similar thing where it's just it's rotating. Um, let's start here. Maybe we'll make this go even faster. Uh, 720 is two full rotations, so we could do that. Um, one thing to point out is that there is easing automatically added to this, so you can see it kind of slows. It starts slow, speeds up, and then slows down. If you want to adjust that, you could go to your... Uh, uh, you, sh you could be go to one of the... Uh, here we go, F-curve, uh, and adjust that. So this, you can see this is the easing that's happening here. We can turn that off. Um, we should be able to just, let's see, go to linear, and this makes it so it, it's a linear uh, interpolation, and it's just kind of constantly moving without that slowing and speeding uh, up. So that's that's that one piece. Uh, and I don't know, maybe I, I kind of wanted a little, I'm trying to think, I want a little bit of a, Oh yeah, a little diagonal going on, so that that should be fine. I think that's gonna rotate like that. Okay, um, let's see the polygon. Maybe this thing just kind of yeah, it goes back and forth. So let's from uh, let's call that 170, just so it's easy for me to plug a number back in. Yeah, we'll just hit it like that. And the last one is the cube. Maybe we'll, we'll put some rotation on it. Um, maybe this one we'll, we'll do a scale on. I think that could be good since we haven't really used that. Uh, scale to one, and maybe it scales to 1.5, I don't know, maybe, maybe it could go bigger, 2, okay. And that goes back to 1.
and you know maybe we'll also have a little bit of rotation on it too. I just want to make sure I grab the same number. I'm going to copy and paste that here. And we should have this animated piece. OK, so I'm just going to adjust the framing a little bit more, just in tight. This is kind of the look uh, that it's going to get. Uh, let's see. I think right now there's a reflectance on it. Uh, that's actually that was causing that um, <clears throat> that color in it. Again, maybe you maybe you want the reflectance, maybe you don't. Um, we could go back into here and, and play with it. We don't even have any lights in here, but just to show you, I think if if we turn that off, uh, maybe you get a little bit f more f flat color, or you know, we could bring in lights in here, and that would that would totally change things. Um, that makes it kind of dark, so it's kind of interesting what you can you can get with this. Um, Maybe I'll change this color here. I feel like uh, it'd be nice to see a little bit more color. Um, maybe I like brightness and saturation up a little bit more with these colors. There we go. And you know, again, if if I like the look of that quantized, I can put it there, or you know, I could turn it down and you'll see you know fewer levels there um, there's more settings in here maybe you want it as a gradient let's see so um, I'm just gonna render this out right now and this is uh, again something I could I could probably tweak a little bit more but just as a quick uh, demo of this uh, I think this works I just want to make sure that I am saving this out uh, I could save it out as individual frames and stitch them together. I'm just going to be a little bit lazy and, and just do an MP4 right off the bat. All right, and here's the final render. So you can see uh, we've used that sketch and tune effect uh, to give it that kind of cartoony look. Uh, and we created a loop. This is a uh, three second loop that will just kind of keep playing. Um, so hopefully that was helpful uh, just to give you an introduction to this. There's things that I could clean up like the way the lines are being drawn in here. These are things and maybe like the shading, uh, but those are things you can uh, explore a little more. Um, Sketch and Tune is a really powerful tool.